Good morning, Vietnam. I, uh, I talked about how the energy of the humans is destroyed by uh, the monetary game. Link of the video in the description. <clears throat> Another side of it, of this uh, destruction of the human energy, uh, that means that you never get somewhere you know, you never feel like you have everything, you did everything, because there is those vampires always uh, destroying the money, so uh, you have to run, run, run endlessly. So another uh, effect of this is that uh, the humans uh, keep turning in this hamster wheel, they make this wheel turn, the economic wheel. Okay, uh, they cannot escape it. Okay, when when you destroy their energy, they have to constantly run after after money, after energy. Okay, so we never have uh, structures that are um, enough or self-sustained. You know, everybody has to run this, this, this. Never stops. Okay, so the. The effect of this is uh, that we have to consume a lot of uh, stuffs and goods and that means extracting minerals from the earth. So we can think uh, the human being being uh, a tool of extracting minerals from the earth. Uh, the earth being a quarry like place to extract uh, materials and uh, the humans being the, the tool of the, doing that, the tool of doing that of uh, a superior uh, race, the owner of the farm. Uh, there is those uh, worms for example, they use them to, uh, to you know, to work the earth, pl plow the earth, you know, to get it ready for uh, for them to plant the plants, they use the worms. The worms have no idea that they have they are being used. They just do their worms job. So the human beings they are just uh, doing their uh, dump human job by continuing, 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 uh, giving their money to be destroyed therefore destroying their energy so they never make it and they continue continue uh, and this is uh, resulting into uh, materials being extracted from the earth endlessly endlessly they have to buy this car and then this car is uh, is not uh, fit to be on the road not repairable and some new stuff to buy and again new stuff so this is keeping the minerals, the materials being extracted from the earth. So the human beings are those worms that are extracting uh, iron, copper, silver, gold, platinum, palladium, anything you can think about, they are extracting it uh, for the benefit of another uh, species. We, and we have a very uh, uh, ridiculous situation where the countries buy gold with the energy of the humans and they ship it all to Fort Knox to a place where they all keep the gold between bracket keep between bracket we don't know if this gold is leaving somewhere you know to another part another planet if you believe in planets another part of this plane if you believe in the in the flat plane but this is a very uh, good mechanism to extract minerals uh, automatically. You just uh, put those uh, humans, you let them there for some hundreds of years and uh, they are a machine of extracting minerals. And uh, we have the story of this also, like uh, the gods like gold, they want to be given gold, we have this in uh, South Africa, in, I don't know, in uh, other parts, in uh, South America, about the, uh, the, gold, the gods being a fan of precious metals, okay, 
and they have been offered gold okay so the uh, the idea of human being being uh, just uh, a worm engineered maybe maybe physically created uh, to uh, to work the earth and extract minerals through the hundreds of years uh, for the benefit of the superior race or the owners of the farm mm. this makes sense also uh, if we see all the circus around which is uh, always designed to uh, to just uh, distract and continue the moving continue the movie of moving stuffs buying stuffs garbaging stuffs you know you know at what moment we have enough iron out of the out of the earth with the with the recycling and stuff it, it, it's never done we never dare it's always more and more extracting the, the minerals always uh, pricey copper and stuffs uh, because maybe this is the the goal the goal of it and we have also this uh, ridiculous situation where um, they tell you uh, co2 you know global warming and shit but still uh, the the you know the achievement of countries is about the gdp of, about the economic growth so it always have to be, grow 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 even if the co2 is a problem so i would if it was logical a little bit we will not be into this uh, schizophrenia into this madness of at the same time being against co2 and also uh, wanting to grow economically so even the narrative of co2 now people have to change stuff into their houses and change their cars and still and still so extracting more and more and more minerals so all this madness every time leads into more uh, stuffs being extracted uh, from the earth <coughs> also the uh, population growth we always whether we are too much people are being born and now like not enough our population is collapsing it's all it's never about uh, the human beings well-being why those kids will be put into life you know it is for for a good experience of life for experiencing joy if we were really humans not worms working the earth extracting minerals plugging plowing the earth you know not a species in the service of a farmer our children should have put should, if they are put into life should be for for the sake of the beauty of it of the, of giving something transferring some some knowledge some experience which we have none i mean they have none they have nothing to uh, give to their children just suffering uh, prison schools and all the you know stinks and rituals and all the shit i speak a lot about this uh, so yes so we can see that the human being is just uh, a tool a farmer tool and the idea of the earth as a quarry uh, really works it works and we can witness it that it is a system uh, made by somebody the worm being the humans and uh, doing their job of this uh, quarry earth as quarry extracting minerals at what moment they will have enough uh, i don't know you have now this uh, population which is starting to multiply in a lesser speed even decreasing in some countries you know china japan now uh, which is uh, i think it's a good thing it's a safe mechanism uh, to have less worms working for the farmers uh, how the farmer is adapting to the situation you know we have to witness this also to be uh, to uh, really look at what uh, the farmer is doing about this uh, population shrinking uh, was it in uh, you know they, they can see it coming it's not them doing it only them with these things and everything it is natural it is a 
safe mechanism i think that uh, those people understand that they have a, it's not a world to have a kid and they have nothing to give him to the kid no knowledge no real science no real uh, joy of life no experience to transfer they have nothing empty shells so it is very natural that uh, the people having less and less kids because they are empty shells they are kids themselves actually i was watching a documentary in japan about those uh, slave workers and they were out in the night with their boss and through the night supposedly to be fun and everything the boss was observing them and everything was a test you know even when they when they are drunk and one of the workers said to the cameraman he said we are um, children in uh, adult bodies so they admitted themselves that uh, they are not adults so why children will reproduce and have other children slaves so there is a safe mechanism in the societies like japan when they are not having kids because there is no meaning of having kids you are not an adult you have nothing inside to give to life okay your children will just suffer and their chemtrails okay so it's it's a natural reaction uh, not to multiply so how they gonna manage this uh, i mean they are very smart uh, maybe some monetary uh, politics will change to explain all this monetary bullshit if we go into a shrinking population they will uh, change the monetary way to do so who knows how they're gonna manage this also uh, we have to ask the question why this uh, technology of blockchain is uh, being given to these swarms of humans being implemented uh, I, t I talk about the technology not about the value uh, of, uh, of some currency in it but about the technology in itself why it is given to the worms the technology uh, allows to the system to be uh, more uh, catastrophe proof if you have a distributed uh, system a distributed internet or something when there is a catastrophe in a country a flooding anything uh, there is not one point of failure for example of the google uh, website if uh, it is uh, centralized if there is something happening to the different to the to the place where it is broadcasted it will be uh, offline stops but with um, the blockchain technology with distributed uh, technology uh, this will not happy uh, happen the system will survive because it is uh, decentralized so they are giving this worms uh, the blockchain technology we have to also to think about making the system catastrophe proof whether it is natural catastrophes or human catastrophes about those uh, countries collapsing wars uh, demographic collapsing and uh, all this stuff so uh, maybe this uh, blockchain technology like I said in one of the video is the Noah's Ark of this uh, humanity this warm humanity and Noah's Ark offered by the owners of the farm itself they are preparing uh, for um, you know catastrophes natural and everything or just uh, the human system uh, to be uh, more free from the, the worms the worms and their numbers and their capacity to work and maintaining systems uh, by using the blockchain technology this makes the system more independent uh, from the human beings from the worms and more uh, solid more um, strong you know uh, to any forms of event that was the video see you in the next video